it is time. I've said this. Five episodes in a row now, something like that. But yesterday, we tried to reform the religion, and unfortunately, it crashed horribly. Do not fear. I have fixed it, or at least that's the lie I'm going to tell you until I can hopefully edit around it. Let's reform. So just to recap, we are going for Warmongering, Swashbuckling, Valeria's Descendants, and we go Temporal, Hierocratic, or Autocephalus, but I'm going to go Temporal uh, just so that my life is easier and it doesn't explode. Let's reform the religion. Are you all prepared? Here we go. It's going to work this time. We've done it. Oh. You've turned away from piracy, and people now respect you more. Do they? Lose the trait pirate, so we are now a feudal ruler. Um, Gogasossi Corsair, here we go. The Gogasossi religion is a cultural movement by the Lord of Gogasos in an attempt to save the almost forgotten culture of his people. Driven by their Valyrian roots, the Gogasossi beliefs center around the power of blood magic and dragon flame. So, being a Corsair is actually intrinsically tied to the religion. If you move away from the Corsair religion, you stop being a pirate. Technically, we still are a pirate because of the religion features that we picked, so if you look through that list there. Um, fleets can never make, navigate major rivers, rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot, we still get the uh, pirate-based events, we can take, as it says there, uh, slaves or captives with concubines, we can take three wives, and then we also got our marry close kin. Um, the Gogasos Blood Church is held by a secular ruler, so if we go over to the religion tab now, we can see that we have High Priest Kofo in Gogasos. Is he the leader of the... Yeah, Temple of Gogasos. So he, he actually did inherit that. Thank fuck that worked. Hey, well there we go. That worked out pretty well, I think. We've got a lot of new features to play around with here, and then of course we've got we've got the whole blood magic thing to see. Do we even have any blood magic as this dude? No, we absolutely don't, but we did keep Pirate Captain. That's cool. Now the question is who converted along with us? We got uh, the Isle of Serpents, Howling Mountain, Talon, uh, not the Isle of Flies, not Death Isle, uh, not Skull Island, not the Isle of Vines, we got Axe Isle, you know, it'd be easier if I went to, oh, this is the coach, god, it's so difficult to tell, I was gonna say it'd be easier if I got into the religion map mode, apparently not, um, what about our religious sites, so we've got Gogasos under our control, 37% moral authority, Narth is still the old Corsair, uh, same with the trees, which we were trying to revoke anyway, so that's fine, uh, we, guess is obviously irrelevant, and then apparently, uh, sorry, where? Krar of Krajaz has? Did I set up the wrong holy site? Let's not worry about that. Look, it's not important anyway. Point is, we've reformed the religion. That doesn't matter anymore. Who cares about moral authority? We are pirates. Uh, but we have now converted over to uh, new pirates. Uh, we're unified. We're no longer just fleets. We're unified via religion. And I think that's what religion's here for, right? To bring the people together. That was cool. I'm glad that's worked. So, well, uh, kind of. So, I'm glad that's kind of worked. What's our current goal then? I guess become emperor. Absolutely something we need to do. So we need the rest of Sothorios, um, which is just a few more. Like, like I say the rest of the Sothorios. We need just a couple of different uh, colonies here and there. And then obviously the whole of the Summer Islands is going to take a very, very long time, I think. What's Topbog up to these days? Do you have to worry about this, dude? Um, oh, no. Oh, I thought he died then. Because look, Stigai has is, is got separate. Um, he's got cancer. Is he still immortal? He is not well he must be because he's 148 years old um cancer scourge lunatic one-eyed one-handed jesus christ this dude tyrant minus five you know what he's actually doing better than i would have as him gone into hiding though i guess it's the paranoia setting good job top bog you've really let yourself go massively he does have a pet dog though which is kind of cool oh god the biggest problem i can see right now is because we're a pirate we can't actually hold any city holdings oh god that's really really bad um Right, you know what, honestly, oh, shit, that's such a shame. Give it away then, that's fine. You know what, honestly, the vassals under us are going to bring in just as many taxes. They're going to give us a shit ton of troops as well. Just have to build some castles for ourselves personally. We'll have a lot of troops to go for. And honestly, this might be the best way to enact our revenge against the Iron Throne by having a shit ton of troops from Gogasos. Uh, Tortruce Town as well, can't really do much about that until we've, uh, until we've revoked the temple title. I'm not really happy giving that one away. Open council positions, let's see what we've got. We need a new diplomat, so you will do. Wait, did he seriously have... How have you done this? He must have got injured of his own accord, because I've modded that out. You you can't keep getting injured like this. Does he... Blood magic. How have you done this? How long has he been the ruler for? Maybe he's just lived for this long, since before I modded it out. Um, yeah, you know what? He, he actually has. Look at this. This dude's been here for almost 20 years. Fair enough. Alright, that, that's that's fine then. I was a little bit worried then for a second. So we can upgrade home. Let's not worry about that. I think we're going to have a lot of religious issues right now. Seeing as a lot of our vassals are still traditional pirates. So they hate us for a start. Um, religious differences minus 10. I'm glad that's worked as well. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, they actually don't care that we're not a pirate. Do we dislike them? Oh, we dislike them because they've remained true to the old ways. And not sort of followed our unified religion. 
Can we revoke it? Uh, not without pissing off our vassals. I guess we just gotta wait for something. Maybe it would be worth just killing them off so we can redistribute it all to to new Corsair uh, Valyrian. What, what did we call it? Gogasossi Corsair, something like that. Um, Valyrian Sotherossi is that one. Yeah, yeah. Gogasossi Corsair. That would make way more sense. So let's kill them all off. Try and reunify the realm under this new religion led by King Jesus and his priest friend Kofo, which I assume, ironically enough, I'm I'm coughing all over the fucking place right now. I assume Kofo will just. Yeah, it's open elective, unknown successor, so it's it's like a just a shitty papacy right now. Oh god, here we go. The recent conversion of Gogasos to Gogasos, of course, have called a great number of unfaithful parts of your realm here. So we've got unrest basically absolutely everywhere. Um, so for a while, we are going to have to worry about rebellions, that type of thing, especially as we have a lot of pirates as well. I think pirates are more prone to rebellion, as we've seen before, on mutiny. Oh god, what is this? Uh, let me know that everything has been prepared for a little boating accident. Oh, right, okay, so fair enough. Apparently, we're going to send a Kraken after this young boy. Um, not so young boy anymore. Apparently, we're still going to send a Kraken after him, though. Absolutely, kill him dead. Please? My kinswoman has a toad? I, I have no idea who you are. There we go. All right, nice. So, let's give that to someone new. So, we might as well just create new vassals, I guess. There we go. And we will give uh, Jeremion. Corsair. Yeah, okay, so it's actually working. Sweet, okay. I'm so worried about that. Jesus. After that crash last episode, I was like, oh no, I'm going to spend hours sorting this out. Um, I'm going to have to give it to him just a new Corsair, aren't I? Because now we are feudal. We can't just grant it out so uh, so willy-nilly. Alright, employ a new Corsair. Let's go for a Lord Treasurer. Welcome, Jassalar. He's, he's god-awful. Like, absolutely top 10 terrible. And this is the Isle of Flies. There you go. You can have that one now. We've got to do that for another 900 provinces. So in the meantime, let's build ourselves a new flagship. I want an enormous flagship, but fitting the entire Toad fleet, 150 gold, and I have a name ready and prepared for this big boy. I mean, having a boat... Oh, hello. Oh, construction of a castle in Tortoise Town. Yeah, no, that's not worth it. We'll save our gold for Gogus if we're going to spend it anywhere. Nice. Let's go rid of our Dishonor. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I was kind of toying with the idea of making us the religious head, but I figured it would be so OP if we're in control of the religion and the kingdom. It, it's kind of like... um. It, it's kind of like going for the, the temporal head when you actually properly reform a religion. Um, but a little bit more OP because, you know, we're, we're sort of manually giving ourselves that title. My courtier. Man, you're a Luxo has expressed a desire. No, I will not grant you permission. Get the hell out of here. I don't know who you are or what you want to do, to be honest with you. Right, okay. This is good. Tidy it around bit by bit. What else have we got then? So who who else is pirate? You is pirate. So let's get rid of you next. 300% plot power. And the reason we've got such high plot power on these people is they're pirates. And a lot of our vassals are obviously not a big fan of them anymore because they, they haven't abandoned the old ways. Another chosen by Relaw, King Araro of Volantis. That's very convenient that a king would be uh, supposedly a, a godly character reborn. He is, though. Can't argue with the stats. Look at that. That's such a great trait. I'd really love to do a Relaw playthrough because I've never actually done it before. Uh, you know, being reborn as a Zora High and doing the whole march against the White Walkers with a big old flaming sword would be kind of cool. Um, I'm not messing around with it too much, but again, I do know that you can be resurrected basically infinitely. Assuming you've got enough of this sort of... Um, Background magic power, enough sacrifices, because that's what their religion is about, right? Burning people alive. Sort of what I've based our own religion on as well. You know what? Have we got those features a lot right now? If we had prisoners, we'd be able to test it out. You know what that means, then? Um, get the troops ready. We're off to raid, boys. I want to see if, if our bloodthirsty gods have actually worked the way I kind of intended them to work. Right, let's pick just the fleets, then. There we go. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We want to pick the boys, not the fleets. Right, on the boats. Me up at Gogasos. Let's go to Karth. I mean... They've still got those great, great artifacts that we want, so why not, eh? Um, okay, we're just going to leave you boys behind. That's fine by me. Merge of troops. You boys get on the boats. And I assume Jesus is taking the wheel. Absolutely is. Right, I want to go sacrifice hundreds and hundreds of people. Karth is, I guess, top log is in the middle of some massive civil war right now. Hence, this big border gore here that he's done for us. Thank you for that. But it doesn't mean Karth is a lot more vulnerable. My beloved ni niece Nakami, I don't know who you are, and we've gained the trait scurvy. Excellent. Could this be the end of King Jesus the Brilliant? At least he achieved his lifetime goal of actually reforming the religion. Right, okay, so capital of Karth is... What? New Gis? That doesn't seem right at all. What the fuck has happened here? Uh... Well, unfortunately, we still can't siege it down because our levies haven't refor uh, reforged. Wow. They haven't restored since we went to war for the Summer Isles, so we've still got that to deal with. Hello. Um, sounds like a solid investment. we got some war knowledge. That's pretty cool. Right. A new advisor? The high priest seems like a pretty good guy to have on the council, eh? Um, we're not getting any prisoners from here, so let's head across. Man, this is massive border goal, thanks to our boy Topbog. Right, if you say so, and let's get somebody else on this flank here. Right, okay. 
Hey, there we go. So we've got ourselves Lord Resnak. So let's see if we can sacrifice Lord Resnak as intended. Um, mutilate, you know, sell into slavery. Uh, so maybe it's just when we execute him. Uh, let's take a look here. We sacrifice to the gods. What is we suffering the snake pit? I feel like that's new. That's got to be new, right? Sacrifice him. Following the Merlin King's will is more important than anything else. I've gained a zealous trait. Okay. Uh, not not what I had intended. I wanted to get the whole hemo arc thing set up. Maybe it does work. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Oh, you have to do it during battle or something like that. Oh, God. What? Dawak Toad has died. Oh, God. Oh, no, wait. He's not our heir. We don't give a shit about him. It's Drown. Obviously, it's Drown. The permanent vomiting Manx is protected from all diseases because of his permanent vomit there. Okay, that works out pretty goddamn well for us. Lazano has informed you that the new flagship for the Gogasossi fleet is complete. The Drummond has over 700 oars and the huge sail is blazing with the arms of House Toad. Welcome. Enormous flagship. I will select my own name. Enormous flagship, you are going to be called Titan. The the HMS Titan? What do you call it if it's a king? His... I have no idea, actually. Because HMS is um, Her Majesty's ship, right? I don't know what... Um, apparently we also stole some other dude's boat as well. Go to pick us up for the honor of House Smith. Oh shit, the guy that we killed off had a boat, so we've inherited it. Nowhere near as good, though, as Titan. Welcome. What a, a, a true vessel for a true Titan of a man. Right, let's take out the last of Karth here. I'm sort of sticking with it, even though apparently the, the murder system isn't working. But we are going to get, hopefully, some shade of evening from this and boost up our learning, too. Can we join the... Wait, can we not just join the society now? Hang on, which one is it? The Citadel? No, no, no. We want to join... Um, fuck the swashbucklers. We want to join the Alchemist Guild. Yeah, we absolutely can. In fact, I think we could have done that before. All we needed was... Um, was missed it, right? So why don't we just go ahead down that route? It's not too late for that. Um, let's go for scholarship then. See if we can't start making some money out of that. And maybe even get some wildfire prepared and go lob it at the Summer Isles and, and speed up that whole Emperor ship. And the mercenaries ambushed the carriage of Corsair. Malix and made short work of him. Right, welcome aboard. Let's give away some crap here. So Death Isle needs to go to someone new. Um, Grant landed title. You know, I, again, I really should give these to feudal rulers so we don't get the, um, you know, wrong government type malice. Right, so let's employ a new courtier again. Let's go for a Lord Treasurer. Lazan. The only reason I'm doing this is because we won't have enough courtiers as it is who are Gogasossi, Corsair, and Valyrian Sothorossi. So we do want to give these guys, or we do want to generate some for us. So Death Isle. Congratulations. You are the king of Ship Mountain. There we go. Um, another House Smith. Huh. Are they all how They're all House Smith. Did I forget to set up cultural names? That sounds like something I'd do. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. Ironically, the video for uh, making cultures should be up by Friday. So if you're interested in the CK2 modding series, apparently don't follow my advice because I'm crap at it. They're all called Hal Smith. That's incredible. Jason R. Smith and my good friend Lazan Smith. You know what? I'm rolling with it. That's really, really funny. I love it. Go get so this, this Valyrian Sothorossi forbidden and sort of ancient culture reborn and everybody is called some variant of Smith. We've got Lasana Smith. We've got... Oh, oh my god, how have I not noticed this? How long has this Smith curse been going on for? Alright, let's build our observatory. Boom. Thank you very much. Let's see what we can do with this Mystic Guild. Because there is also a chance of becoming immortal. Would I take it? Would I go for yet another campaign with an immortal character? I mean, we've already had the, the dice roll once this playthrough. I don't think we're going to get it again, let's be honest. So, hmm. What else can they offer us, then? I don't particularly just want to join them because we can. Because we do have access to the other ones. You guys have been saying, save up the money and build a bank as well. Absolutely going to do that as soon as possible. Because this is a system I'm really, really interested in what it can give to us. I think pirates running a bank seems a bit odd. But we can go for it. I mean, we need someone to keep all the all the plunder and booty, right? Um, let's go back to the Alchemist Guild a second. So you boys can teach us rare powers. Oh, right, yeah. The rare elixir is immortality, to my knowledge. Creating fake valuables seems like the most appropriate thing for a pirate to do, to churn out fake gold. You know what? I think it would just be a nice boost to the economy while we try and um, recover from giving away so many towns. And the many wife collection never ends. Bring it to my ship and... Oh, man, that's a real shame. No... Uh, no shade of evening there. We could just make our way along the Karth coast, I guess. Oh, man, these boys have almost no defenses. We can just move in and probably assault this thing down. I've been reading the legends, and it claims that death is something a true believer should be afraid of. Um, the Pale Maiden, forgive me, for I have sinned. Gain the trait stressed. Lose the trait greedy. What has that got to do with death? I don't understand it. 
What is there in the afterlife, though? Can it, yeah, fuck it. I, I mean, I don't want to lose straight greedy. That's, that's helping bring in a decent amount of gold. Topbog is not happy with us again because we're robbing and stuff. You know what? If you're able to keep your ram together, then maybe don't complain so much. Oh, shit. We got ourselves a strange chest. That's really cool. So the strange chest is actually a base game event. It's, it's kind of kind of rare, but if you play as Norse enough, you'll see it quite frequently. Um, you get a chest, and then during a raid, randomly, you will find a key for the chest, and then inside will be a random reward, right? Normally, honestly, most times I've had it, it's just been nothing. Uh, a completely empty chest, but I believe you can get like 200 gold from it occasionally. 22 with the strong trait. Thank you very much. I'll take her. And no shade of evening. What about you? Do you have any? Nope, not worth it then. Oh, God. Hang on. There's a lot of people here. Right, let's leave. Um, Qual is... Actually fairly well defended. J point, do you have any shade of evening? You do. I'm I'm essentially just trying to stack up all these buffs now. That's that's my new goal. Oh. King Jesus, after listening to the advice of my bannerman led by Lady Kemza, I hereby relinquish my position of Grand Prince of New Geese in favour of who? What has happened? So he's just got nothing. So Carthus destroyed? Oh no wait, Carthus What are you people doing? What is happening with this? So there were two Karths. No, no, no. Karth belongs to New Geese. So they've just taken the capital of Karth. Okay, fair enough. But actual Karth still exists. Oh my god, there it is, the Dragon Binder. He's got three friggin' boats. Oh my god. He doesn't have a coastal province either, so he can't even grab his stuff. Got no defenders. He's got nothing. Oh my god, cancel that one. Right, we're gonna march through and just torch it down. I don't know if there's a chance of even getting the artifacts if they're not coastal, but my god, are we going to give this a go? I wonder what strange things I will discover. Like, apparently, uh, the central, like I said, we still got the pirate events there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, these apparent central provinces. Let's go in for that. Um, let's, let's wait for these troops to piss off, um, which are completely undefended, more to the point. So let's get out of here. Run away. Oh? The game's not happy with that one. Wow. Have we got a full black? Uh, I think it's crashed. Gonna, I'm going to play some money on it. It may have crashed. We've had this before, though. It, it's something to do with the banking system. It's apparently not very happy. Oh, good. I kind of wish it hadn't have crashed now. Pure Bjorn Kiat of Karth has declared Pure Bjorn Kiat's blood feud against King Jesus the Brilliant. On King Jesus the Brilliant. Classic. So because we've raided them previously, and they now declared a blood feud against us. Um, the whole point of this war is to put us in their prison and uh, horribly mutilate us, I guess. I, I don't really see what else they would do with that one. I didn't realize we'd done enough damage to make them into a blood feud, though, which is kind of impressive. Tolokarth has fallen to our band of raiders instantly. The second we set foot there, they were gone. Um, is it a colony? It is. Their capital is a colony. Brave. Uh, do we want to steal his concubine? Um, or we've got the choice of an ugly woman or an... A, well, that. Uh, you know, I'm going to steal his concubine. Have his family put in the dungeon. And that's 0% war score because we are still technically raiders. Um, nice. We actually torched their colony as well. That's pretty impressive. So who have we got? We've got a choice of two ruins. Uh, what's this? This random... Okay, the random people left in the ruin of the colony, I guess. Um, sure, you'll do. We'll take you. Thank you very much. Where's the capital of Karth now? Because I kind of do need to fight them. Yeah, but where's your capital, though? Um, Lordship of... Seriously? Your capital is there. Karth. Karth, what are you doing to me? Alright, fine. Um, I guess we'll just toggle them off of looters and just siege and kill what we can. 55%. We could always go for white piece if this is going to be a massive pain in the ass. Which it is. Um, I mean, we could just go for some of the easy raids. Okay, is there something strange out there? We'll let us join the Alchemist Guild if we become a mystic. Um, we could go for the easy raids because I really don't fancy going all the way into the middle of Topbog's territory there. Quite a centralized territory of Topbog. And attacking Link with all places. I don't I don't think that's uh don't think that's good for business. I think that would be that would be good if we wanted our head chopped off. Right, okay, I'm gonna assault this down, even though it's a it's a god awful idea. Okay, apparently it wasn't a god awful idea at all. Holy shit, our are apparently Oh, hang on. All those morale buff buildings are gonna affect the ability to siege, aren't they, quite heavily? Oh god, they're attacking the capital. Run, run, run. I owe nothing. Get out of here. Right, um yeah, no, I'm not bothered about you either. How are we looking? 9,000 men in the capital. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, yeah, see, now this is why I didn't want to get into a blood feud war. I wonder if we'll accept a white piece. No. And they know that they can win this one. So, what's the plan? Well, I think we get home. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll go through the waters swift and sure. There we go. Some 20 gold. How much gold have we got? When did that happen? When... When did we get 9,800 gold? I mean, that works pretty well, because now I can sit here and go, Welcome, 
Welcome, welcome, welcome, welcome. And still, there's barely a dent in the amount of gold here. Right, where did they all spawn in then? Um, yeah, take leave for the pregnancy. Right, so we've got some over here. We've got, oh my god, they're just around everywhere. Um, so these boys have spawned in Norvos. Very useful, thank you. We've got these boys over in Volantis. Um, oh, two of them are over in Volantis. We've got 5,000 troops. So let's send our boats, actually. Um, wherever the hell they are. Here we go. Let's send these boats to go and grab these troops in Volantis. And then just drop a massive force on the capital. And hopefully that should be enough to, uh... Hopefully enough to kick Karth out. Oh, I don't give a shit. Get out of here. Get in the trade scurvy. Oh, God, this could be the end. Jesus, please. Don't do this. I need someone to win this war. I mean, if he dies, it would end the blood feud. So, I mean, that would also be kind of a, a silver lining, eh? Um, yeah, that's that's a good lineup. Let's get Drown. Okay, so 32, 20, 15. Not confident about this naval landing. Oh, you know what? Their troops are dying to attrition goddamn quickly. Uh, why? The Red Death. Ah, understandable. And crappy supply limit, because obviously they're, they're miles away on a pirate island. Okay, send them in. I, I think we've got this one in the bag now. How the hell did we get 9,000 gold? I'm going to have to watch that back and see exactly when that ticked over. I wonder if it was something to do with Siege in the Colony? But I have i don't know why that would happen. Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Um, but I mean, it kind of does, but it, it's not really that much of a big deal. Right, get on the boat. Let's get as many troops as we can here. 9,000. Uh, I'm sure we could fit a couple more if we tried. There we go. All right. 9,800. Let's... I mean, we could just do a naval landing and see... Try our luck. Why not? Let's do it. Do a naval landing. Hello. Boom. Oh, absolutely destroyed. Get the hell out of here. Karth, you are done for. I don't care. Stop messaging me. We're in the middle of one of the most important wars we've ever fought. Oh, that's only 60% war score. Are we actually going to have to go into the middle of top box territory and attack? Oh, my God. This is going to be... This is suicide. This is a really, really terrible idea. Okay, fine. You know what? We'll go for the capital. They, they forced us to it. And it's not like we haven't got any troops left, you know, around this area. If it's looking bad, we just hire more troops. In fact, I might even just preemptively hire some troops to stand on the capital and look menacing. I think that's not... Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently it's not menacing enough. Um, we, we've hired everybody. There we go. How, how's that looking? Uh, Jesus, take the wheel, because you are just insurmountable when it comes to warfare. Oh, God. How many troops are they dropping off here? This, this could be... Oh, enough to kill us all. Okay, fine. Um, I think we can take their capital before they can take ours. It's basically a race to see who, who gets each other's capital first, right? We're almost there, though. Um, we had a daughter. Great. Not that I really care. I think it's a bit late to be uh, training training kids. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's like a dog. It's, it's a bit late to be training kids. Um, that's it. Go, go marry whoever the hell you want. Right. Okay, we're, we're deep in top bog territory. The Red Death has reached Gogasos. Best news we could have ever hoped for, to be honest with you. Seems odd to, to be celebrating, you know, a horrific disease where everybody dies horribly and their skin peels off. Holy shit, they have 9,000 defenders. Ah, uh, okay. Um, wow, that's really annoying. Okay. Um, man, even the supplies killing us here. Jesus, this is so bad. Get out. Just defend the capital. Honestly, we'll, we'll drag them into a war of attrition. We'll just stand in our capital and let them throw troops at us. We're going to win due to ticking war score. I'm not fighting so deep into his territory. It's jungle. It's top bog. If this, come back to, if, if this comes back together as one big empire, he's just going to come and, and, and absolutely thwomp us. So bring these troops home. Let's just sit on the island and wait. Battle of Gogasaw City, and of course we absolutely smashed it. Right, let's just stand here. Like, I, I genuinely mean it. Let's just sit and draw them out into a long, long old war. Now, what happens if they surrender? Um, they're going to give us 432 gold. Thank you. I'll put it with, with the gigantic stack. You know what? We might as well use this time to just build ourselves up, eh? Um, oh, my interface is broken. That's good. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, that's going to give us a lot of war score. Oh, shit. He was slain. Is that the end of the war? It's not, it's not the end of the war at all. Now it's his son. Uh, no, it's not his son. It's just to come... Why the hell do you care about a blood feud with me? Why do you care? Oh, for the love of... Seriously? Okay, fine. Okay, you know what? We'll keep, we'll keep fighting Karth. I'm going to do a really classy thing here. So I've divorced uh, the last... Or, or this character that, that King Jesus the Brilliant was married to, Vahera. And then I'm going to marry her off to, to uh, Prince Drown here. There's only a few years difference between them, like seven years. Uh, mainly because it's going to be really, really hard to find another genius character in the realm. The only other person is apparently his younger sister. Which is fine, because we have the whole divine marriage thing. But the issue is she's one, and he's 30. A little bit weird. Like, maybe a little bit too weird. We've also got Elena here. Can, can you also marry my son? No. Uh, you aren't in court. Maybe that's... No, I don't think we can have more than one wife. 
Um, unless you take them as a, uh, you, you can take them as like a consort, like a, like a, like a concubine type thing. Um, only if they're your lover first though, so a little bit of a pain in the ass, but that's fine. Um, hopefully, that means we're going to get Genius back into the family, seeing as we've lost it with this generation. We just have to keep trying. With this dude, I'm really going to sort of force the, um, force the rating, try and get as many salt wives as possible, and really focus on getting Geniuses. And then, the only goal is to really reform the empire, or form an empire of Gogosos, eh? Alright, one more castle, and then we've actually completely filled up Gogosos with a shit ton of castles again. That's kind of cool. So I apologize if this episode has been a little bit slow today. At least we got to see the religion reformation and that type of thing. Unfortunately, the banking system has been causing quite a few crashes. I've heard a couple of people saying the same thing in the Discord channel. Um, I'm trying to edit around it as best as I can, but it's... it's kind of quite consistent. Hopefully you guys won't notice it if if I do a fairly alright job with the editing here. But it is crashing fairly frequently to the extent I've had to turn on monthly auto saves here because it is kind of pissing me off a little bit. This war with Karth is essentially taking me real life hours here uh, because the game keeps essentially rolling back every time it crashes. So we're at 49%. The second I can wipe peace this dude's better. There we go. Yeah, get out. Honestly, I'm not that bothered about winning that. We've got enough gold as it is. I don't really want to try and spend this out much, much longer. We need to take the Summer Isles. We need to start colonizing Sothorios as soon as possible. You know what? I'm just going to immediately watch this. Ready? Boom. Uh, thank you. I'll take that one. We're going to Basilisk Point. We've got the money for it. Honestly, why the hell not? The, the only issue I can see with doing this is that we're not able to send our guy to go and oversee this many colonies. But with enough gold, it won't really matter. Because whenever it falls into room, we can just repair it again, right? Um, this is also going to allow us to form the Empire level title a lot, lot quicker. Look at that. That's kind of cool. So we can create the Kingdom of Sothorios. Thank you very much. I will be making that. The High Lordship of Yin. I'll be making that one too. And the High Lordship of Zamatar. Is it worth keeping any of these? Um, absolutely not. Right. So let's give Yin away. Um, I mean, I really don't mind who it goes to, to be honest with you. Let's go for employing a new courtier. Because again, we don't really have enough right now to be dishing out land. Um, in fact, I doubt we've got anybody to dish out this land to. Right. Uh, you're actually not terrible. You will do. Right, so you can have the High Lordship of Yin. I believe this is our first Duke in the entire kingdom, right? I don't think we've actually created any other since then. Um, that just counts as Sothorios, which is kind of annoying. Um, I'll just give that away to, to literally anyone. So Basilisk Point. Um, another famous city in lore, actually. You can have Basilisk Point. There you go. More than welcome. This guy's not going to like us because of different government types. Yeah, minus 20. Again, this is why I'm trying to be a bit careful with it, but I'm kind of losing my patience with the amount of uh, crashing going on. Again, a, again, a little bit. Maybe now's the time I need to step back for a bit and come back to it later on, but we'll just do a little bit of rain management here. Um, oh, this dude is not bad. Hey, welcome aboard. Uh, you can have yourself. What have we got then? We've got uh, Zamatar and Virash. So you can have Zamatar and all lower titles. This dude as well. Not terrible either. Um, what was it called? Virash? Um, why can't I give that away? Oh, I've, I've already given that one for you. Let's give away Zamatar. No? Zamatar? Fire. Oh, that was a high lordship. Jesus, there's me thinking, like, why is that not working? It turns out it was a Duke level title. Right, okay. That explains a lot. That's fine. That's looking pretty good. My god, Sothorius. I wonder what this has got for us, because I did take a look into it, and there are events in-game with Wivens already. So we might be seeing something like that, hopefully crop up over the next few episodes. We still can't form the Empire, though. How close are we to the Empire of the Summer Sea, I believe it is? Um, we control 30%. So I think, next episode, conquest as much of these islands as possible. What cast of spell do we have now that we are... Um, oh, it helps if you put down your troops, genius. Apparently we have something. So let's take a look. Um... No valid Casas Belli. We just don't have a Casas Belli at all. Let's take a vote. Should Corsairs be allowed to do a Corsair Conquest? Vote yes in, in chat if you would like me to re-enable that for us. Um, all we did was really reform the religion, so I don't really see why we would lose our, our piratey Casas Belli. Or, do we want to do it the old-fashioned way? Because I have set Fabricate Claims to slightly faster, so in theory we won't be kicking around for too long. 33% yearly is not bad. Uh, so I don't really mind doing it the old-fashioned way as well and carrying on with the whole rating and seeing what events we've got in store in Sothorios. Doesn't matter to me either way. Uh, you guys let me know, and I will do so accordingly. Again, I apologise about this episode being a little bit... Um, <laughs> a kind of a fucking mess, to be honest with you. Games will be crashing a lot. I will try and do my best to tidy it up before next episode. I, I'll, I'll make sure that it's, it's sort of crash free and for even if it means disabling the whole bank system. I would like to take a look at that next episode. That was kind of my plan to build the bank of Gogasos. However the hell we do that. Is that even the option here? Do we not even have the option to make a bank? Maybe I'll enable the option to have a bank and we'll, we'll see what those features lie in store for us. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully, fingers crossed, things will be better for next time.
shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons for making today's episode possible, including Big Dick Timmy, Tom Terrier 18, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Loris, Haydock, Sedini, Necrofelon, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I am the Lizard King, Josh Lindine Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Pelvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspire T, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419 Escape, and Jackson Woodman. Thank you all for your support. Much appreciated. And as well to Nathaniel Limburg, Euphrates, Jimmy, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Euron DeVries, Duncan 207, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, The Sage, Asro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Eagle Kozak, Haji Dumar, Noah Gallimore, Panther Pearl, and Alpha Scuff. Thank you all for your support.